Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this drop waist peplum top. It's really flowy and creepy and yeah. So you're going to need about a yard and a half of non-stretch fabric and some pattern paper if you'd like to drop out your pattern, which in my opinion is really convenient if you want to make a shirt in the future. So you're going to take your pattern paper or just any type of paper, newspaper works, freezer paper, whatever, any type of big paper that you have, and you're going to take a shirt of your choice. Um, I'm just using a regular body shirt, and you're going to lay it down so that you can have a guide to cut out your pattern paper. So you're just going to make sure that all your folds line up nice and neat and then you're going to continue to find your waist point and you're going to extend this down about three and a half inches. Um, you can do more if you want your shirt to be longer than mine. You can just make it as long as you want. And then you're going to take your width and extend that about three and a half inches as well or more if you want it to be wider. That's fine. And then you're just going to take all your marks and line them up and then continue to trace around your sleeve hole, your sleeve hole and your shoulder and your neckline. So once everything is marked, you're just going to take your scissor and cut out your pattern piece and then you're going to be left with one big shirt pattern that you can use, you know, and alter in the future and do whatever you want. Um, so this pattern piece is meant to be bigger than, um, you know, bigger than you basically. Just a big shirt. <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> Just, you're going to have just a big shirt that you can, you know, use in the future. Next, you're going to take your fabric and fold it once and then fold it again um, the other side. And then you're going to be left with um, a piece that looks like this and it's going to have four folds in total. Uh, four layers. Oh, sorry. And you're just going to line it up nice and neat and make sure that it's all even so that everything is the same size. And you're going to take your pattern piece and pin it down so that it's easier to work with. Um, you don't have to, but mine kept flying everywhere because it had the fan on. So you're just going to make, uh, pin it down just to make your life easier. And then you're going to take your scissor, or if you're like me, your rotary cutter, and just cut out your pattern piece. So then you're going to take out all your pins and unravel uh, what you have, which is just these two big pieces that you're going to sew together. So you're going to take your fabric and lay it down right sides together and you're going to pin and sew along the top of um, the shoulder and then the side of your shirt. Uh, just like I'm doing here. So you're going to pin it down and you're going to sew them, which I don't show on camera, but you're just going to use a regular straight stitch uh, to sew this all together and I'll show you what to do next. So next you're going to cut out uh, two big long pieces of fabric, each one. Each piece should be the size of your waist. So you're going to in total have two times your waist and you're going to pin and sew along the sides and this is going to give you the piece that's going to go on the bottom of the bodice that you just cut and sewed out and it's going to be gathered to give that nice flowy, you know, drapey effect that you want for your peplum. So once 
that piece is all sewed together, you're going to take it and then sew a basting stitch along the top of the fabric, uh, which is just a regular straight stitch um, at your widest setting, um, and you're not going to back stitch. So once you have your basting stitch in, you're going to take the two loose ends at the end of your fabric and just pull. And as you can see here, once you pull, it'll start to gather that piece. And you're going to keep gathering until it fits, um, it lines up with the top piece that you made. And I'm not going to lie, this can take pretty long if, you know, if you're new at it. Um, it actually took me a while. You want to just make sure that your gathers are all nice and even and line up perfectly with the top. And then you're just going to take the top piece and turn it inside out. And then you're going to take the bottom and while it's still on its right side, you're going to tuck it in to that top piece and then pin um, the side seams together and then just pin all around um, put as many pins as you want because you want to make sure that you're very precise with this and that you're not sewing it weird um, so just the pins will really help you here so just pin all around and then you're going to sew it together so here it is all pinned and you're just going to sew along that seam and then you're almost done and just make sure at this part that you're really taking your time, working nice and slow, so that you don't have any puckers or any weird like folds or anything. And once everything is sewn all together, this is what it should look like. And basically you're almost done. All you have left to do is hem around the armhole the neckline and the bottom of your fabric which I skipped because my fabric didn't fray from the bottom um, but yeah that's it and then you're done and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this tutorial please um, subscribe so that you can see everything else that I post and I'll see you guys next time